And we are back. Rams franchise. In the last episode, we went against the Cardinals. Well, we ended up falling just short, 31-28, in a game where we were once down 28-7. to So, I mean, I respect our effort of trying to come back. However, we had a chance and Matthew Stafford threw an interception. What else is new? But in today's episode, we will be going against the 6-1 49ers in a game that is Monday night, ESPN's Game of the Week. So this is a big game for us. Uh, if I quickly go down to the injury report, we're going to, I'm going to show you how bad of a situation we're in. We're going to be without our starting center, right guard, and right tackle for this game. So our free starting alignment. Then also our starting wide receiver and our starting left end. Now, luckily for us in, you know, some aspects, we do have pretty solid replacements, I would say. Uh, you know, Bo or Bo Limmer, I don't know how to really pronounce it, it's weird spelling, I think it's Bo, but Bo Limmer, he's, you know, a 67 overall, not terrible, same with Logan Bruss, and then uh, Warren McClendon. Also 67. So now the receivers, we will be having Tyler Johnson back. So, you know, it won't be that big of a hole. The only concern is, however, uh, Deshaun Johnson, who's only a 63 overall. And uh, I don't think that's necessarily going to work. So we're going to be making one of our first really moves this season or at least our first in a while as we'll be going to I believe it's left end and we'll be sign, signing Lawrence Guy Sr. He was a guy I was looking at for 2.25 million one year deal is a guy I really like uh, he's been doing you know good in the NFL for a while so Hopefully, he's able to just have not even a good year. Just a serviceable, what is it, three games that we need him for? And with that, we do have to cut a player. And unfortunately, um, it's going to have to be Zach Evans. Uh, he had a really great preseason, but we just don't really need the position right now. And... Uh, he's not, I don't think he's practice squad eligible, so he just kind of has to go. Now, if we have another running back issue where a bunch of them get injured in the same game, I'm probably going to regret that decision, but we're just going to hope. All right, rivalry games are always intense, and the 49ers will be no different. Brian Clark predicted they would win this week because they have an, the edge of QB. How do we prove him wrong this week? How do we prove him wrong? This is all on you. Um, from more touchdowns, because ultimately, a better rating is good, but I don't really care about the rating. Well, I mean, I do. It's just kind of like a bonus objective. You know, I care about the win. And in order to win games, you need to throw the football. And we're in a very tough spot because you see what they have. They have Chris McCaffrey and Brock Purdy. So, uh, both X-Factors. We're going to defend the run because the run, you know, I feel like it's a lot easier for us to defend the pass than it is to run. When... Now, for us, on the other hand, uh, it's kind of the same thing. Five sacks is not happening. We are going to hold Matthew Stafford to his goal of multiple more touchdowns. So, we're going to obviously go for two or more. Now, we're a middle-of-the-pack team. As you saw, 14th rank in... One category, 19th and the other. I don't remember which was which. So, yeah. Now, this is a game I am okay losing. Obviously, it's not one that I want to lose, especially now that Kenneth Murray is also going to be out for this game. So, the injuries just keep piling up. So, uh, it will be, you know, a chance for the rookie. Say, uh... Second or third round pick, I don't quite remember. Dylan Northcutt will get a chance. And, you know, from the chance he had the last time when I believe it was Alexander Johnson got injured, 
he played pretty well. Last thing I quickly need to do is go to the depth chart because I have a feeling that it didn't actually put him in. It did not. Okay, well, we can't start him quite yet, so we're... There we go, Lawrence Guy. There we go. A bit more confusing than it had to be. Lawrence Guy could potentially just be a guy who straight up gets cut once Brandon Fisk is back. Or uh, Braden, whatever his name was. I always forget it or get it mixed up, it feels like. We do have a rivalry game. Uh, Buganaku having a pretty productive season so far. 558 yards. And so I believe I saw five touchdowns to go with that. Vikings win 28-10 over the Bears. Now, as I was saying, I am okay losing this game. In a sense of... I don't really want to lose the game, but I'm also not expecting us to win. Because of the injuries we had. Now, if we were full strength or even close to full strength, I would be expecting us to win this game. Maybe not, you know, expect us to win, but, you know, I would want us to win. I would have hoped that we win. This one, on the other hand, it's most definitely going to be an uphill battle. And I feel like a lot of it's going to come down to Devo Samuel. Not, um, he gets six yards, second and four at the 33. But it's not going to come down to Devo Samuel. It's going to come down to how, how well the right side of the O-line, uh, center, right guard, right tackle, all do to backups. Has Kyle Juszczyk going to make the catch? Going to be tackled there by John Johnson III. As you can see, all the injuries there. Third and five now from the 31 after a loss of one. If they're able to do their job, I think we will have a chance to win this game. If not, then it's, like I said, it's going to be a, a tough one. And that's going to be intercepted! And he's going to go to distance. Is he? He will. Darius Williams. Pick six. His first of the season. After leading the league last year. I don't know if he let him pick sixes. But he let an interceptions at this first either way. Seven nothing Rams. Now if we're able to do that. Then I think we'll be having a pretty successful game. As they return it up to the 27, that's going to be Ricky Pearsall Jr. That's going to be complete to Kittle up to the 34, gain of 7. Kittle last week, 5 for 57 and a touchdown. He looks like he took a big hit. Very slow to get up there. He does, and he is out there still, so good for him. Second and free from out. Ugh. Second and free now from the 34. They're gonna give it to Christian McCaffrey, and McCaffrey gonna pick up solid yards, eight yards to be exact. First down up to the 43. Purdy now alone in shotgun. We see CMC lined up as a receiver, and it is gonna be a pass to him, and he is going to pick up five yards up to the 48, bringing up second and five. As now we see two running backs back there. McCaffrey being one of them, he's going to go on a route. They're going to check this one down. First down up to the 44. That's going to be George Hiddle. First down now from the 44-yard line. McCaffrey going to get the handoff. He's going to get a huge gain up to the 31. Uh, he was at 8 yards, so it's going to be 13 on the carry there. First down. That's also going to be a big issue with, you know, all our guys being out is stopping the run. But McCaffrey doing it on both sides. First down up to the 21 now. That's the issue with Christian McCaffrey is he can, he can run the ball and he can catch the ball. As he goes in motion, it will be a pass. Going to be complete for six yards up to the 15, second and four. Uh, Juwan, or excuse me, John Johnson making the tackle. Uh, I, I'm trying to see who that player is, but it's just not, so sorry about that. Second and four from the 15 now. 
McCaffrey's going to get the handoff. He's going to have some room to run. Takes a big hit at the six. However, it's going to bring up first and goal. McCaffrey now averaging 10 yards a carry off of the first three. Great news for us is he can't do any better on this drive unless they lose yards on a sack. As McCaffrey going to lose yards just in general. Loss of the yards. Second and goal from the seven now. They give to McCaffrey again. McCaffrey dives into the end zone. And the 49ers going to put points on the board. And the extra point is good. So we have a tied 7-7 seven seven ball game. Now I did forget to do something before this uh, game started. Basically what I was going to do. Uh, as I'll say after this return. Up to the 26 yard line. That is Darion Kendrick. Ready to start is I was going to re sign uh Kyron Williams to the cheapest possible deal I could, and you know, if he wants to accept it, he can. But basically, what I want to do as Parkinson catches it up to the 31, pick up a five second of five now, is I want to make it to where I'm no longer able to extend him. I want it to kind of be the only thing I can do is franchise tag him as Kyron Williams picks up four yards, third and one from the 35. As it looks like Alvin Kamara is the back. Glad to see him getting a bit more action now that he's finally back on the field. As he's going to motion, will be a pass. Will be a first down to the 40-yard line of 49ers territory. Colby Parkinson, who was having a great game last week, however, suffered an injury pretty early on. So, you know, his game got cut short. Hopefully, stays healthy this time. Is throwing it deep, incomplete. Tried to hit Kamara. All over that was the 49ers. Honestly, lucky it didn't get intercepted. It looked like Kamara had to play more defense than he did offense. Second and 10 now. Stafford will throw again. Incomplete. Nick Bosa had a chance to pick it up or pick it off. Couldn't. Third down and 10 now from the 40. Currently staring at a 57-yarder if that's what they attempt to do. Stafford, however, going to sling it. To the 25, that's going to be a first down. Tyler Johnson, welcome back. As he missed the last game with an injury as well, so. In practice, so good to see him back out there. As Stafford, deer in headlights. This dude's speed running, you know, getting benched. I mean, come on. 20 yard sack and you fumble to football. First down now from the 45. Incomplete. Tredavious White ran the route better than Jawan Jennings. So we have an uphill battle because I forgot our quarterback is, you know, useless. I hate to be that guy. He seriously hurts us more than helps us a lot of time. That's going to be picked off. Cameron Kitchens. That's two interceptions now. There's been three turnovers so far this this quarter, and we're only in the first one. Hand off to Kyron Williams. He has a lot of room to run. Up to the 36 yard or 37. First down. Of course he's having a great game now. Because before I was doing this, I was thinking if he has a good game, he could salvage his, you know, his reputation with us. Stafford, deer in headlights. He does throw the ball away. I didn't know that was possible for him. Second and 10 now from the 37-yard line. Kyron Williams gets the handoff. He's going to get up to the 36, only one yard. Third and nine. I'm pretty confident it is going to be a pass. Fires complete. Kyron Williams, he's going to get the first down up to the 23-yard line. As the Rams don't have to call another play before the end of the quarter. However, they will as Stafford is going to throw. And he does throw it away with five seconds left. So now they have to call another play. Second and ten now from 23. 
Hand off to Kyron Williams. Going to try and cut it outside. Going to go nowhere. And that will do it for the quarter. So, even game, however, this is a very defensive game as the only touchdown, well, the only offensive touchdown come from the 49ers. Third and 10 now from the 22. Need to get to the 12 and a half yard line for a first. Bro, will get there. First down at the 11. That's Alvin Kamara. First and 10 now from the 11. Still can get a first down. Stafford complete the Parkinson. Parkinson tackled at the two-yard line. Second and one. Had a chance to get in there. However, got caught from behind. It's Nakua one-on-one. -on -one. And they go Parkinson getting in the touchdown. And the L.A. Rams currently, well, we're only a minute into the second, so still plenty of time. Hold a seven-point lead. Over the 49ers, also winning the turnover battle, 2-1. to one. Return up to the 30-yard line. Isaac Grendo, second-year running back. First down from the 30, play action from Purdy. He's going to swing it. Incomplete, tried to hit Debo Samuel. Darius Williams able to say no. Second and 10 now from the 30. CMC goes in motion. It will be a pass again. Going to be complete to CMC. He's going to get up to the 36. That's going to bring up a third and three. Will be a pass again from Purdy. Going to throw. Fourth and three. Caught but out of bounds. Jawan Jennings. Because that's not going to bear well, you know, after the game. You know, watching the highlights. The film. Fair call out to 15. It's going to bring up first and 10 now for the Rams. Handoff going to go outside to Kyron Williams. Going to get maybe a yard, but there is a penalty. It's going to be holding. And it's going to be on the Rams. Going to be Jonah Jackson. One of the few players I wouldn't expect to get a penalty. You know, on the starting O-line. As he is the only starter on the team that is not a rookie. As that's going to be picked off at the 11-yard line. Javarius Ward. Ran the route better than Tutu Atwell. First down now from the 11 for the 49ers. As we have four turnovers through century 12 minutes. As that's going to be complete up to the five yard line. Pick up a seven, Debo Samuel. Second and three now from the five. Purdy alone in shotgun. Third and inches from the one. They're going to rule him just short, right on the line. Why are you in shotgun on third and inches from the one? Purdy is going to throw. And it's going to be incomplete. What a play. Alexander Johnson, the veteran, showing he still got it. Making the diving play there. Fourth in an inch. It's a pass. There's pressure. Sack back at the 10-yard line. Jared Verse and Byron Young. Goal line stand for the Rams. First down, it's a play action. Stafford completes an Akua up to the 28-yard line. First down. Oh, my phone fell. First and 10 now from the 28. Stafford completes it to Parkson. Parkson catch and run up to the 45. That's going to be a good pickup in a first down. First down now from the 45. They give it to Kyron Williams. He has some room to run up past the 40. Stiff arms a man up to the 36. He's averaging over 7 a carry right now. Of course he is. First down now from the 36. What a catch by Nakua. Second and 5 from 32. That 
It's a great play, even for just five yards. Hand off to Kyron Williams. Third and eight from the 35, loss of three. Third down now. Stafford throws complete. Up to the 30. That's going to be Tyra Johnson, but four from four, well short of the first down. It's going to be a 48-yard field goal attempt for Joshua Cardi. And his kick is good. Rams take a two-score lead. 17 to 7. The Rams do get the ball as well to start the second half, so they have a chance to pile it on even more as Ricky Pearsall Jr. or senior turns up to 28. He had a chance to break that one big, but Rams sealed it just in time, it looked like. First down from the 28 for the 49ers. Juwan Jennings in motion. Cameron Kitchen follows. They bring pressure. One handed catch by Kittle. Ball was well behind. Somehow made that catch. Second and free from the 35. McCaffrey in motion. Purdy. Complete wide open. That's going to be Brandon Ayuk making his first catch of the game. First down up to the 46. First down for McCaffrey. He's going to get right next to midfield. Say a yard short. Second and six after a pick of a four. Purdy, quick pass yet again. Kittle with the one-hand catch. He fires up to the 43 for a first down. Amazing effort there by Kittle. What looked like it would be a third and short ends up being a first down. McCaffrey going to pick up seven on that carry. Second and three now. Purdy is going to throw this ball. Running out of time. Just throws it away. Third and free now from the 37. McCaffrey in motion. It will be a pass. Purdy wide open at the 30 is Kittle. And they're just leaving him wide open on these check downs. Less than a minute to go now. Purdy is going to throw again. Running out of time. He's not going to. Oh, he's going to somehow make it out of there. And he's going to get a first down up to the 19. Timeout 49ers. They're first with 47 seconds. What a play by Purdy. Able to evade the sack and pick up a first down. That's going to be complete. I don't know who that is. Number nine. Willis, second and free from the 12, got out of bounds with 43 seconds. As complete end zone, and that's going to be a touchdown, Debo Samuel Jr. Scores now 49ers 14, Rams 17. Rams, you got the ball back with 40 seconds, and they do have all three timeouts, so... Depending on, you know, what happens, they could very well get points as returned up to the 27. It's going to actually be 36 seconds now. If they want a touchdown, they got to go 73 yards. First and 10. Stafford is going to throw this ball. Going to take the check down. Six-yard pickup, second and four. Timeout Rams to Tuatwell on the reception. Second and four from 33, Stafford going to throw again. Complete the Atwell, but third and one now from the 37. This is not great if you're a Rams because now you're under 30 seconds. Well, if you're facing a third down, you're not even at the 40 yet. With only one time out to spare. Up to the 44. 21 seconds left. Timeout, Rams.
And this is horrible clock management here by the Rams. Oh, the Tower Johnson was open. Is what sucks. Out of bounds with 12 seconds left. I'll take that. Oh boy. Oh boy. Wow, look at me making a kick. Okay. So with three seconds left, the 49ers will get the ball back. I imagine they're probably going to try and return it. Just see if anything happens. Two, one, zero, up to the 26. So, yeah. Going into the half, the Rams lead by six, 20 to 14, and we'll be getting the ball. Darion Kendrick returns it up to the 27. Stafford on first down. Gonna swing this one. Wide open. Well, not wide open. Beautiful throw. Beautiful run out there to catch. 2-2 two, two out. Well, 73 yards. What a play to open up the half. And they're gonna go for two to try and make it a 14-point game. I would have personally kicked it here, but... They give it to Kyron Williams, and that's why I would have kicked it. He's gonna end up losing yards. That's what happens when you go one-on-one -on -one against the best linebacker in the game. Rams do lead by 12, however. So it is still, you know, two touchdowns that they want to score. You know, and only two scores. First down now from the 28 for the 49ers. Down 12. First play, check down to McCaffrey. Four-yard pickup. Second and six from the 32. Caffrey in motion. Purdy throwing complete. First down to the 41. Debo Samuel on the reception. Cameron Kitchens to one both on the coverage and to make the tackle. First down now from the 41. Going to be a handoff to McCaffrey. McCaffrey going to fight for it for eight yards up to the 49. Great job there by him. Second and two. Caffrey in motion again. Will be a pass over the middle. Kyle Hughes check the fullback. Fights up to the 36. Nice pick up there in a first down. The rookie Dylan Northcott on the tackle. First down now. McCaffrey. Four yard pickup. Second and six from the 32. Going to be a handoff to McCaffrey. He's got some room. First down up to 23. 49ers are moving down the field. Kittle. Touchdown from, what was it, 20-something yards out. And the extra point by the 49ers is good. So it is a five-point game now. 26 Rams, 21 49ers. Turn up to the 28-yard line. It's going to be first down Rams. Looking to extend their lead. A field goal would keep it a one-score game, by the way. It's Parkinson not able to hold on there. Great play there by their guy. Oh, 
Kyron Williams fighting for every last yard. Ends up being no gain. Gotta love the effort he just gave there, however. Third and ten. Safford is going to throw. <clears throat> Great play there by the defender, but Stafford, man. I'm, I told you last game. In that situation, why are you bullet passing? Lob it. First down at the 38 for the 49ers. Looking at the interception, sorry, I've been paying uh, a bit less attention than normal, you know, just trying to quickly do something. First down now from the 38, Purdy feels pressure, he rolls out, he has room to run, he's going to slide after a pickup of five. Second and five now. Purdy, down he goes. Quincy McKenzie, the rookie, getting the sack there. Third and six from the 42. Stat or Purdy throwing, running out of time. He throws it. Complete. Going to be short of the line again. Darius Williams makes the tackle. Fourth and two from the 45. 49ers going to set out the punting team. Yo, I don't know who 20... Oh, that's Kili Ringo. Does an amazing job there. That pump went out of bounds at the 31. Kili Ringo does a great job there on special teams to block the gunner. Motion on first down. Stafford completes to Kyron Williams. Going to go nowhere. Maybe half a yard. Not even. He actually loses about half a half... So a fourth of a yard. Second attempt from the 31, we see uh, Alvin Kamara out there. It will be a pass. Will be complete to Parkinson. Parkinson breaking a tackle nearly. Third and five from the 36. I don't know if he broke the tackle because, you know, he got tackled by someone else immediately after. Third and five from the 36. Stafford will throw. That pass is complete. Up past midfield to the 49. That's Puka Nakua. First down. As Kamara is still out there, you have to wonder, did Kyron Williams suffer an injury or maybe he's just tired? They are going to hand it off to Kamara, and Kamara is going to pick up eight yards up to the 41. You have to love it when Kamara gets a handoff. It doesn't happen often, but when it does, it's a sight to see. An audible from the the Rams as we see people going in motion. Stafford is going to throw. Complete the Parkinson. He's going to be up to the 34 for a first down. Kamara is still out there. A lot of concern if I'm a Rams uh, fan. Stafford. Complete. That's Atwell. He's going to break a tackle and take a huge hit. Second and seven from the 31. However, if I'm also the Rams, I'm realizing I still have Blake Corm and Alvin Kamara. As Kamara's going to get the handoff, he's going to get the first down up to 23. He's having a great, you know, third quarter. I mean, maybe we should give him, especially if uh, Kyron Williams is injured. I mean, look at Kamara. He's averaging like eight a carry, second and two from the 14. That's a pickup of eight, and that will end the quarter. So the Rams have the ball at the 49ers 14 facing a second and two up five. Both teams do have all three timeouts still as well. As Kyron Williams is back out there. As Kyron Williams, he's going to get the handoff down to the two. Pick of a 12 first and goal. And the Rams knocking at the doorstep to make it a two score game. They go handoff. Williams dives into the end zone, and that's exactly what will happen. They're going to go for the extra point to make it a 12-point game. 
keep it, you know, two touchdown game. And it's good. Rams 33, 49ers 21. Just under nine and a half to go in the game. 49ers will be getting the ball back. Turned up to the 26, Isaac Garendo. Isaac? It might be Isaiah. Might begin the names confused. First down, they give it to McCaffrey. McCaffrey, huge pickup. Pick up a 12 up to the 38. Having 7.7 7 yard to carry. They give it to him again. He's going to cut it outside and improve that average. First down up to the 47. He's now averaging over 8 yards a carry. As Purdy's going to look to throw. Checks down to IU. Pick up a 5. Second and 5 from the 42. Under 8 minutes to go now. I feel like once you kind of get... Picked off by Tredavious White. He stays in bounds. He will go to distance. Pick six as the crowd's going wild. Let's go. The extra point is good. Rams lead by 19 now with 7.42 to go. I was going to say once you kind of get under seven minutes that's when you know you got to start being urgent and now during an even more urgent spot because it's free scores which means you probably need even more time and you just don't really have that right now so you got to be going fast not only do you have to score fast you have to stop the Rams fast as that's almost picked off Kili Ringo passing offense Something tells me that stat is not right, but I don't know. Second and 10 from the 27. Purdy. Complete. It's going to be the backup running back. I don't know if something happened to McCaffrey. But he's back out there now, it looks like, so should be fine. Third and one from the 36. We approach seven minutes go. McCaffrey in motion. Will be a throw. Will be to McCaffrey. McCaffrey will catch it up to the 45. First down. First down now from the 45. Purdy throwing. Picked off again. And it's going to go to distance again. Cameron Kitchens jumps the route. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be the dagger. I'm pretty sure Purdy threw for more touchdowns than Stafford did. And we just ended up with... We've gone 21 points up from pick sixes. Twenty six points. That's four scores, so yeah, it's over. Granted it's not over until the clock hits zero, but it's over. First down now from the twenty eight yard line. Purdy. Surveying. Gonna scramble for it. Gonna slide down at the thirty four. Pick of a six. Second and four. Under 5.45 to go now. 5.40 to go. Purdy. Complete IU. He trucks a man up to the 48 first down. Under five and a half to go now. We're closing in on five minutes. By the time this play gets done, it will be five minutes. Purdy's going to throw again. Complete. Ayuk. 36-yard line. First down. Four and a half minutes to go now. Purdy is going to throw again. Complete to McCaffrey. Tackled at the 19. First down. Four minutes to go now.
And it's going to be a toss to McCaffrey. McCaffrey going to get a yard. Byron Young made the initial play, and then someone else made the wrap-up tackle. Purdy is going to throw again. Complete to Ayuk. He's got a first down inside the five to the four. First and goal now. Under three minutes. Purdy throwing. End zone. Complete. Kittle. They're going to go for the extra point. And it's good. Now trailing by 19 with 2.46 left. They're going to go for the onside kick, so they still believe they have a chance, which they do. Recovered Tyler Johnson at the 46. Way to hold on to that football because as soon as he grabbed it, he took a big hit. As Kyron Williams gets the handoff, going to get two yards up to the 44. Although Nick Bosa honestly helped him there because if he would have made a better tackle, probably wouldn't have got anything. Rams, you have to call one more play before the two-minute warning. And it's Kyron Williams going to lose those two yards he gained, plus an additional one, it looks like, because they're going to say third and 11. Two minutes to go now. The Rams lead by 19. If the Rams pick up a first down, it's game. Because they give it to Kyron Williams. It's going to fall forward for two yards. The 49ers aren't even going to take their timeout, so they're pretty much waving the white flag. As if I'm the punter, it goes out at the 18. I was probably just going to send it into the end zone. Take as much time off the clock without giving them a chance to return it. First down now from the 18. Purdy. Complete. That's going to be Ayuk. Second and one from the 26. 49ers take their first time out with a minute 12. So they are still trying. Purdy's going to throw again. Wide open is Debo Samuel. John Johnson, the one man to beat. Going to wrap him up at the five or six yard line. Timeout, 49ers. First and goal from the six. 49ers are officially going to need two onside kicks now if they want to win. Debo Samuel tackled at the two. Not even getting in the end zone. Purdy. Running out of time. Purdy. What? He got in? Where? Where does that ball cross the line? When does that ball ever cross the line? They're going to review it as they should. It's going to come back and the 49ers are going to burn their time out. I was to say, that ball never even crossed the line. Like it, not even after. He never even like tried to get into the end. Incomplete. Cam Kerr almost had an interception. Fourth and goal from the one. This will do it if they don't get it. Although, I mean, they could theoretically get a safety. McCaffrey's not going to get in. And the Rams from the inch yard line. As long as they don't get a safety on this one play, it's game. And they don't. It's Kyron Williams up to the four yard line. That's going to do it. So the Rams go from losing back-to-back -back heartbreakers Coming just short of comebacks. Managed to beat one of the, the 49ers out of all teams. I mean, it is a division game. We saw that with the Cardinals. That was a game I felt really confident that we'd win. We ended up losing. This 49ers game, I didn't feel very confident. And, well, we end up winning. 
So any any game, especially the division ones. Because no matter how bad one team is and how good the other is, they know you like they know you. There's no way they're like praising Purdy right now with those stats. Dude, you outplayed Brock Purdy. Looking at those stats, Purdy looked like he had a great game. However, show the interceptions. Show the pick sixes. All right. Well, we're going to advance to next week. This will be the trade deadline week. So, any last move we want to make is going to have to be made, you know, this week. Or else, might as well not even try. Browns get both. Players of the week, but we get Cameron Kitchens. Two interceptions, five tackles, one of those interceptions being a touchdown. That is going to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I did. I'll see you guys next time where we go against the Falcons with a chance to improve back to 500. Something we have not done, well, since week three. Goodbye. Or eh, we were free until at one point, so week five, I guess. Goodbye. Hope you enjoyed.